Hello everyone, Stacy from Dies to Die For. Today we're going to make a very special video. Today is February 24th. It is the 13 year anniversary of my husband's death. So today we're going to work on a um, suicide awareness in loving memory card. I know I promised you guys way back in September that I would tell you more about my husband and his death. But once I did the the one video for suicide awareness, I just found that I didn't have it in me yet. I thought I was ready to talk about it, but apparently I wasn't. So let's see if I can get through this today. First, let me get our flourishes untangled. Let me show you the dies we're gonna use. We're gonna use our flourish die. And the, I believe the flourishes and our Survivor Butterfly and our Butterfly set were all made for um, September for Suicide Awareness Month, Prevention and Awareness Month. We, we make dies every year for that. And we're gonna use our wood picture frames. Okay, let me show you what I did first. And I will try to talk a little bit about my husband, but I might just go with making the card and not talking at all. Okay, first I'm gonna take our A2 size, and then I took my scissors and just went around, rough the edges up, went around the edges like that. And then, let me actually, I made two different backgrounds for cards, that's why I was showing you the two in the beginning. I took our flourishes and I just laid them on the edge of one card base and ink them so you come out with this really cool background and then I ink two in purple and two in the teal because as if you don't know those are the suicide prevention and awareness ribbon colors so I put the flur I've already put the flourishes down on the first card that I made I made sure that I glued every part down because I didn't want it popped up but I want to make this a little different, so we're going to pop them up a little. I just glued the centers. And then I'm going to go around the edges with my teal and purple again. Because I think as much teal and purple as I can get on the card, the better. Most of you know I like using a lot of ink colors, so just just using two throws me off a little. Okay, there we have our teal and our purple. And then let me show you the butterflies. Our butterfly set and our butterfly survivor set were made to work together. Apparently the flourishes weren't made to work with anything because they keep sticking. All right, this is the largest butterfly from our butterfly set, and this is from our survivor butterfly set you can layer them right on top of each other like that on this card I'm not gonna I'm gonna layer them a little but I want the wings to pop up and be kind of separate from each other so I'm gonna bend the top set a little further and the bottom a little bit let me show you first I put my purple on the top of the large butterfly and my teal on the bottom The outer layer I'm going to leave white. So we take this and I usually to bend it just put my nails on either side of that little body and just bend it up a little. And then I do that on all the parts of this little guy. And you guys aren't going to believe this but I left my glue in my room. I will be right back. Sorry. It's been that kind of day. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Some of you might wonder why when I do something like that I don't just stop the video and go on. It's because I want to show you guys that nobody's perfect. Mistakes happen. <laughs> we forget stuff like 
I show you in probably every single video. And it gives you time to just sit here and stare at these beautiful backgrounds. Okay, there's that. And then for the ribbon part, let me show you how I did that really quick. I just took whatever scrap piece you have. I just happen to have some of these extra butterflies sitting aside that I wasn't planning on using. So I just masked off the parts that I didn't want purple and started with my purple. Can't remember, oh, this is called Crown Me. That's what this purple's called. It's a Simon Hurley ink, just like that. And then you come back in with your teal color. And I only, I mask it off for a second, but you, you want the inks to blend. You don't want that sharp line. Well, I didn't anyway. So then I come back in a little bit and try to blend it together. Just like that. Okay. And then I took the wood pitcher frame and I'm going to use the, even the inside cutout this time, the inside rectangle that cuts out. I distressed the edges just like I did the edges of the cards on the outside of the frame, the inside of the frame, and on the outside of the rectangle that's going to go in there. And then I inked them all with the teal and the purple. Now for the... Let's see, I also use the, I don't think I showed you this, but the Sympathy Words, I use the In Loving Memory part and the shadows for those. Those are part of our seasonal set. Those were also made for September. Okay, the original card, I put it all straight. I was thinking of mixing it up a little. Oh, I suppose I should put the ribbon on, huh? Let's go with this ribbon. The ribbon I wanted to pop up above the butterfly a little bit. So I'm going to take one of my pop dots and cut it in half. Put it on there. I suppose you guys probably want to know a little bit about my husband, which I'm finding it kind of difficult to say anything right now. So I'm sort of focusing on my card. But let's see. I was 30, 13 years ago when he passed away. And... A lot of people ask why, why. Obviously he committed suicide or he died by suicide. You're not supposed to say committed suicide because he didn't commit a crime. He was just, like I explained to my children, he was just very sad. So he died by suicide. And don't know what else to say about that. Everybody always, always asks, well, why, why, why? Nobody really knows why. I've so many questions all the time. Did you guys get into a fight? Did you, well, no, we didn't, but we had a discussion and would it matter? Does it matter if you get into a fight? People get into fights every day. People, things happen. Um, people lose jobs. People, and they usually don't choose the path that he chose. That's one of my least favorite questions that people ask me. Well, did you guys fight? Did you, um, 
I usually don't answer them. I usually just say, would it matter? And even the why, does it matter? Because he's gone and there's nothing that we can do to change it. He made his choices and my children and I have to live with it. I had three small children at the time. My One of my sons had just turned three. One was four and my daughter was seven. I'm thinking sideways like this. What do you think? I kind of like it like that. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go with that. I forgot I was going to go. I see I start talking and I forget what I'm doing. Put it like that. Okay, let's take these off of here. I mean, if there's any specific questions that you want to ask me about my husband, I'm, I'm more than willing to talk about it. Except for the specific details of how he passed away. That, I think, needs to stay personal. My kids, like I said, they were little. Now they are 20, 17, and 16. And they're... I don't know, they usually say when your parent passes away, when you're small, then you start dealing with the, the loss and the grief as you get into your teens and your early 20s. And not, my kids are all good kids. Not that they're not, but I can definitely see some of the, some of the struggles that they wouldn't necessarily be going through. if they didn't have that extra that extra component of not having their dad around or the stigma of the circumstances of his death but all we can do is get through it together and yes even after 13 years it still is getting through it together. I know a lot of people make the assumption that once you get past the first, all of the first, the first year, the first Christmas without them, the first birthday without them, that you'll be fine. No, no, it's a daily, I don't really want to say struggle. Some days, yes, it is a struggle. It's not, we don't struggle daily, but we miss him daily. My kids, my especially my boys, don't really have any memories of him, of their own. They know what they've been told, and there's certain videos that they've watched. But their own memories, they don't really have them. So I think for my boys, it's more struggling and upsetting and sad that they didn't get a chance to get to know their dad and he was an amazing person no my glue doesn't want to work let's take that off ever in case I didn't say it. I have already glued my In Loving Memory words onto my shadow. And then I took my scissors and I distressed the edges of the shadows also. Now, should we put the butterfly this way to go with the frame? I'm thinking that we do it more like this. We, me. Yeah, I like it like that. You can spin it a little still. Straighten my card up. Okay. Now, like this for these words. I mean, that's 
the memory is more on an angle. Or should I go like this? If I do that, I think that this loving part needs to be pushed over a little. I kind of like that on different. Okay, let's play with it a little bit more. Let's see. I don't like that. But if we do that on the same angle there, do the in over there. I think I put that memory on too much of an angle, but it's glued down now. So that's what we're going with. And I don't mind the loving word right there. Just what are we going to do with the in? We go like that, but that puts it, let's see. That puts that off down there. Could we add a butterfly down there? No. Okay, forget that idea. Goodness, choices, choices. I should have just kept it the same. You see that loving underneath that butterfly, though. That is the problem. I think we're still going to go with it like that. Maybe move it over a little bit more here. What do you think? So you can see it a little more? Put the end right up there? No. Okay, bad idea. Well, if we move this over, then you can... My problem is that G is right underneath the butterfly wing, but if I move it over this way a little more, I think we're good. So let's put that in right at the top. A lot of other people's questions also. I'm trying to answer some some common questions for you guys. As didn't you I there's a lot of comments that I don't think are meant to be insensitive, but they are sometimes, but one of them is didn't you know? Didn't you realize? No, no, I didn't. He was actually the last person on this earth that I thought would go to those lengths. I knew that he was struggling and I had asked him to um, speak with our pastor and he did the day before he passed away. But as far as knowing, no, does anybody really ever know? Do you really ever think that somebody would go to those lengths? No, no you don't. So, no, I didn't know. Yes, looking back, there were signs. There were, he started to sell off everything that was important to him. He loved, um, he had a dump truck and a front end loader that were just his toys, and he started to sell those off. He sold his truck. He was not keeping his basement, which was where he did his woodworking, organized like he normally did. Um, there were a million different signs that you can, it's always easy to look back on them and say, well, but when you're living in the moment, when you're in the day to day, when you have three little kids and you're running a business and he has his work, you don't sit down and add them all up. Unfortunately, after something like that happens, then you have nothing but time to sit down and add them all up. I think. This is our slimline version, sorry. I just moved on without... And I've already made the frame for the slimline version. And the butterflies on it. But I want something up here to make the words stick out. Kind of like that. And then I can distress the edges on that. Do this straight. Because I think if I put a frame around it, it's going to make it too much. I mean, I guess I could. 
go back and pop the frame up eventually. Let's just start with doing this first. You get to watch me distress the whole thing. I'll move that over. And a lot of times I like to kind of accidentally tear into the paper, or purposely accidentally tear into the paper like that. I think it adds a little bit of character if you like flip that up. And it actually is very surprised that I've been able to do this most of this video. It's not quite as hard as the one that I did in September. Because even after 13 years, this day has always been difficult. And to top it off, I've always had one friend from the very beginning that was a dear friend that always gave me a phone call this day or emailed me or messaged me on Messenger, some form of communication to make sure that I was okay on this day every year. And unfortunately, he passed away in December. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have started talking about that one. <laughs> and so this year, that phone call or that message will not be coming. we want this. Should we go like that? Or should we leave it in three lines? And I keep putting this on here sideways. I'm thinking that I like this one sideways too. If I go like that and go like that, what do you think? I forgot to ink the edges. Let's ink the edges. up I believe and I think I'm gonna keep it on three lines like that three yeah I like it better like that definitely okay so let's glue or should we pop those words up what do you think the frames gonna be popped up already or should we not pop the frame up and just pop those words up. That's an option. Where are my pop dots? I think we'll go with that option. Yes, and those are my chicken girls that you hear. They like to be super noisy when I'm making a video. I think they know I'm right by the window. Oh, getting pop dots all over. Okay. Let's put the memory part down first and work from the bottom to the top. kind of decide where we want the other two words to go. 
sorry, this background is right next to me and it is distracting me. I love how pretty that is. I always, when I ink stuff, I have my piece of paper and all of this gorgeous detail work goes on my piece of paper that just gets thrown away. So lately I've been trying to lay it on a piece of paper that maybe I could use for a background later and I love it. had to share that with you guys. She's just going to keep going out there, isn't she? You know, those chickens are so funny. They want to be fed immediately in the morning as soon as you let them out. If somebody does not go out there and feed them, they will fly out of their little caged in area. If they're fed right away, they'll stay back there just fine. Most of the time. If they're not, then they fly out of there and come up on our porch and knock on our door. I know, I'm talking about the stinking chickens. Anybody who knows me in real life would never, never guess that I had chickens or wanted anything to do with them. They're, they were my kids' idea and they're kind of growing on me. Don't let anybody know that though. Now, what I could do is pop this up a couple of layers and put it up there. No, that's, that's too much, isn't it? What do you think? And then again, do we go straight or sideways? See how it looks that way. I think that if we went straight up and down, come on, can't get it under those words. If we went straight up and down like that, I think there would be more room for the frame. I really don't mind it like that, do you? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it makes it too busy. It takes away from those flourishes behind there a little bit too much. Let's just go like that. Forget about putting them on an angle. Go straight up and down. Pop that up and we'll call it a day. going. They're just happy today because the sun's out, skies are blue. It's not really as cold out as it has been. The snow is starting to melt for today anyway. Later on tonight we're supposed to get another snowstorm. Why not? Okay, now that that's on an angle again, I think we have to go with the angle. I think I like that better. Now, we shouldn't pop that up right because we popped the words up. So let's just put that straight down. our slimline version and I love every single one I think everything that I've done has been a little different like on this one I didn't distress the frame oh and I forgot to say that I actually distressed the edge of the butterfly to the the regular butterfly not the silhouette but 
And there you are. Quite a few different cards. And hope you enjoyed watching. And like I said, if you have any questions you'd like to ask me personally or if the, I'm, I'm will, more than willing to talk about it and answer questions. All right? Just ask them in the chat or send me a message. Thank you so much.